Hello everyone, I'm Kristen of the Mrs. and the Mama. Um, so this is my first video post I've ever done. Uh, just thought I'd try it out and see how it goes. So for today I wanted to do my um, kind of list, I've done this before, but my list of my must-haves for a day. Um, beauty must-haves and things I snack on and different things like that. Um, so let's start off with my favorite tinted moisturizer. This is a Vino Positively Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. I use Fair to Light. Um, this is SPF 30. I use this every day, although I find it a little bit dry, especially around here. Um, so I usually do a dab of this and a dab of just a regular old Oil of Olay moisturizer. Um, mix it together and that's usually the only thing I put on my face. If I'm wanting to have more coverage or if I have a few blemishes I need to cover up, I go with the L'Oreal Infallible. I don't know if you can see, there's a little glare. Um, so I am a big fan of the MAC Studio Fix, um, which is very similar. I'll show how this is. Um, this is just a pressed powder foundation with an applicator. Um, I found that this is just as good and a lot cheaper. This runs about, I think, about $12. I got it with the coupon at our local um, grocery store. But I got it on a recommend from one of my friends because it's kind of hard to try out drugstore stuff, especially on the higher end of it because you're just not sure how it's going to work out. Um, but I'm a big fan of this. This is very comparable to a MAC Studio Fix or um, the Chanel, um, can't think of the name, pressed powder that's similar to this, but uses you use as a foundation. Um, my last, well, no. Um, this is embarrassing that this is so worn, but this is um, my mascara, the Voluminous Million Lashes. Um, I... I kind of switch off. I, I don't, I'm not loyal to one mascara, um, but I have found that this has done me well. Um, I do have to put on two coats, which is just normal, I think, for any girl, right? But um, it it is uh, non-clumpy. It has lasted for a while. Um, I'll definitely be buying it. This is the first time I used it. I definitely will be buying it again. So uh, I have a little disclaimer here. So I've gone pretty blonde with my hair, um, as one can tell. And with this really, um, with this color and with this heavy bleach on my hair, I can't wash it every day. It'll get brassy and I have to use purple shampoo and um, the life of a blonde. But uh, so in between washes, I um, use the dry shampoo by Trust Me. Um, and the technique for this is that I would part it, spray a little here, do it again, spray, again, spray, kind of everywhere I'm seeing some oiliness of my scalp. Um, and then you would flip your head over, rub, rub, rub to get that, that powder all distributed. Um, let it dry because it is kind of wet and then you brush it through. And there you go. You don't have an oily head of hair anymore. It'll last you off the day. And it kind of gives some body, even though, um, even if I have days where I have washed my hair, blow dried and styled, and it's looking a little limp, it's humid outside, I'll spray some of this on my roots and it gives a nice little extra um, body to it. Big fan of the Tresemme dry shampoo for the fine hair girls like me. All right, last up on the beauty. So I have a confession to make. I don't always use these, but I always use some sort of makeup wipes. Um, these are the Pons Evening Soothe. Um, I prefer actually the Neutrogena wipes. They just were out when I went to get these. But I depend solely on these wipes to get my makeup off. In fact, the other night when we were, when I was out of these wipes, I refused to get on get the good old soap and wash rag to my makeup and I just went to bed with my makeup on 
and said, well, I'll get it off in the shower tomorrow morning. I don't have one of my makeup wipes. I really depend on these and it's kind of embarrassing, but um, they do the trick. Uh, I usually just wash my face and then use these to get my eye makeup off. But big believer in the wipes. I'm sure everybody um, uses them as well, but it's just kind of one of those things I can't live without these days, especially if I'm in a hurry. And when I wake up in the morning, if I don't have time to do the full face wash, give myself a little white, put on some of my moisturizer, I'm out the door and it's good to go. Um, I don't have a picture of my new favorite drink. They're called ice drinks. I will have to get that next time, but um, it's sparkling water and it's delicious. My favorite is the grapefruit. So if you're at your um, local grocery store next time, try out the ice drinks. And I usually have one of these to accompany it. A kind bar. This is the fruit and nut. Um, they have dark chocolate and peanut butter. They have um, yogurt and apricot. They have tons of different flavors, but I'm a big old fan of these. Um, it's a nice little pick me up in the afternoon. They're all natural, gluten free, wheat free. Um, their glycemic index is only 30. Four grams of fiber, low sodium. Um, they're just really all natural. They're usually fruit and nut combination. Um, but again, if you haven't tried it, pick one up next time. I really, really like these. Um, I think my favorite is one of the dark chocolate ones. I'll have to try this one in the morning. So I think that's all. I think that's the end of my first video blog. Um, I'm always looking for stuff to try, and I kind of go off of other people's recommendations because I don't want to necessarily spend the money before I... Um, you know, find out if I like it or not, especially if I don't like it. That's a bummer when you buy something and you're like, I just wasted 10 bucks on that. Um, so I'd love anyone's input on their um, go-to beauty products or go-to snacks or drinks or whatever they have on their daily basis, whatever you have on your daily basis. Um, so let me know. Uh, thanks for stopping by my blog and I'll see you around.